Hello students here welcome to a very interesting question that how to find if the force is conservative or not that means if a force f vector is given to us how will you determine whether it is conservative force or not so for that here is a mathematical formula which i am going to explain today this is pronounced as del cross f is equal to 0 is the necessary condition for a force to be conservative let us see the details first of all let us revise what is the definition of conservative force we know that a force whose work done does not depend on the path is called as conservative force that means uh, work done by a conservative force is independent of the path considered a point a and a point b suppose a particle is moved from the point a to b via different paths possible between them so particle a can be moved along the path number 1 up to b or via path 2 or path 3 or path 4 in each of the path work done may be different but if the work done all are same values on all these different paths then we can say that the force acting on the particle must be conservative as the particle moves from a to b secondly also the work done by conservative force in a closed path is zero for example this particle goes from a to b via this path number 2 and then it is returned back from b to a via path number 4 now because work done w2 and w4 both are equal so but the direction is opposite way so while going from a to b work done is w2 coming back is minus w4 so the total work done on the closed path will become zero so these two statements are the properties of the conservative force but how do we mathematically check whether a given force is conservative or not suppose a force vector is given in these different manners these are all mathematical functions by looking at them it is really hard to decide whether the given force could be conservative or not so for this we have this mathematical method which i am going to discuss so a force vector f will be conservative if its curl is zero what do you mean by curl okay look at this statement del cross f is equal to zero now this triangle vector inverted triangle vector is a mathematical operator which is called as del operator and it is expressed like this differentiation with respect to x i cap plus differentiation with respect to y j cap plus differentiation with respect to z k cap but you will notice that this differentiation symbol doesn't look like d by dx but in fact this d is a curved shape d so the question arises what is this curved d symbol so this is actually a new type of differentiation which we call as partial differentiation this symbol del by del x means partial differentiation of the function with respect to x partial differentiation with respect to y and partial differentiation with respect to z here it is partial differentiation is written like this partial differentiation with respect to x y and z then we use this symbol curve d but again question arises what is partial differentiation and how do we do it let us say there is a mathematical function f which is a multi variable function it is not only dependent on x but also on other variables like y and z all these three are variables x y z such type of function is called as multi variable function now the problem arises with multi variable function is that how do you differentiate it with respect to x alone suppose you want to find df by dx but actually we cannot differentiate this function with respect to x alone because there are also other variables y and z so what we do that we differentiate this equation partially del f by del x symbol means partial differentiation of the function f with respect to x now what we do that when we differentiate partially with respect to x then y and z will be considered as constants that means if you are differentiating with x variable then other thing other variables will be treated as constants so differentiation of x square will be 2x differentiation of yq will be 0 because y is being treated as a constant and similarly differentiation of z power 4 will be 0 because z is being considered as a constant similarly if you do differentiation with respect to y partially partial differentiation of the function f this function with respect to y 
will give you the result like this x will be treated as a constant differentiation 0 y is our variable so differentiation of y cube is 3y square and z will be considered as a constant so differentiation 0 so when we differentiate partially with respect to y then x and z will be considered as constants similarly differentiation of the function f with respect to z will be equal to 0 plus 0 plus 4 z cube because x will be treated as a constant you see when we differentiate partially with respect to z then x and y will be considered as constants therefore differentiation of x square is 0 y cube is 0 and z power 4 only this is the variable so differentiate this 4 z cube so this is the meaning of partial differentiation which is required in that del operator now so again the question how to find if force is conservative or not so as i told tell you that uh, this is the necessary condition del cross f must be equal to zero the cross product between the del vector and the force vector must be equal to zero so here is our del vector del by del x i cap plus del by del y j cap plus del by del z k cap and the force vector has these three components fx i cap f y j cap and f z k cap let us see how to perform the cross product between these two vectors so you know that in order to perform the cross product between two vectors we use this uh, determinant method we will draw a determinant two vertical lines and then inside them we'll write uh, uh, in the first row we'll write on i j k in the second row below i will write on del by del x below the j del by del y and below k del by del z then in the third row we'll put the components of f the force fx fy fz and this determinant expansion must be equal to zero how to expand the determinant let us do a practice of a simple question see how to expand a determinant let us say we have a determinant like this so the first row contains i j k second row contains some number three four five third row contains one two three some random numbers i have taken so let us try to find what is the determinant of this uh, uh, numbers so first of all you write on like this first of all imagine a plus sign over i cap minus sign for j cap and plus sign for k cap then equal to put a bracket i cap then put a minus sign minus sign because of this minus sign a bracket in j cap and plus a bracket in k cap so now we have to fill this bracket i will show you how to fill this bracket what to fill in this bracket look at this determinant first step take this i cap that means we are going to fill in this bracket now when you look at this i cap then what you do hide the numbers which are below i cap after hiding them only these four numbers are remaining below j and k cap so then we do cross multiplication and subtraction multiply 4 with 3 you will get 12 then subtract put minus sign and then cross multiply 2 into 5 that means 10 next step now you think about the j cap filling this bracket so when you think about j cap hide the numbers which is below j cap that means these two numbers hidden now perform the same operation here cross multiply 3 into 3 9 and then subtract minus 1 into 5 that is 5 lastly we will do the same thing with the k cap so now let us think about the k cap here is the bracket for k cap and hide the numbers below k cap and then whatever is remaining cross multiply and subtract so first of all cross multiply 3 into 2 which is 6 and then minus subtract 1 into 4 which is equal to 4 so now we have final answer 12 minus 10 2 i cap and uh, 9 minus 5 is 4 and 6 minus 4 2 so this is our final answer this is how we expand a determinant you will reverse back the video to see this once again to understand how exactly we expand a determinant after we have understood this let us now proceed for our uh, physics question del cross f is equal to 0 for conservative force so finally our question let us see check whether this force is conservative or not so i have taken a force which looks like this y z i cap plus z x j cap plus x y k cap so we start like this solution is that we must require that the del cross f must be zero this is the necessary condition for a force vector to be conservative 
and we know that this cross product will be written as a determinant like this first row i j k then the del operator and then the force vector equal to zero using the technique of determinant exp expansion that we just now studied that first of all we'll take i cap then hide the numbers below uh, below this uh, i cap and then the remaining things will cross multiply so we have to multiply this uh, this operator del by del y with x y and then minus this del by del z with z x like this we have to multiply so we get our first bracket you see of carefully see we are multiplying del by del y with this x y so we get del by del y of x y and then minus the product of these two things that means del by del z of z x next we go for j cap so as we know that with j cap a minus sign is already associated with that okay so these two numbers i'm hiding below the j cap and we put a minus sign here in front of j cap vector and then uh, ignoring these numbers below the j cap the remaining things you multiply so del by del x into x y here and minus del by del z into y z over here once again you see you take j cap hide the numbers below j cap and remaining four things you cross multiply and subtract so first del by del x of x y over here then minus this multiplication that means del by del z of y z lastly same thing we'll do for the k cap so think about the k cap put a bracket and uh, these numbers which is below k cap we must hide it and then this result to obtain by here multiplication cross multiply del by del x into z x here and minus del by del y of y z over here so finally we have obtained our expansion of the determinant after this determinant expanded now let us solve this partially differentiation we have to do now see this first result here because we have to differentiate partially with respect to y then over here x will be taken as a constant and similarly for this differentiation with respect to z x will be taken as a constant so here is the result first of all you see from this expression x is a constant will be taken outside and we differentiate dy by dy del y by del y similarly from this expression because we are doing differentiation with respect to z so x will be considered as a variable sorry x will be considered as a constant that constant comes out and z is a variable so del z by del z differentiation will happen similarly in this bracket what will happen we are differentiating with respect to x so y will be taken as a constant that comes out and in this differentiation with respect to z z will be taken as variable y will be a constant so y comes out and del z by del z lastly in this expression differentiation with respect to x so x is a variable but z is a constant z comes outside similarly here we have to differentiate with respect to y partially so only y is taken as a variable z will be taken as constant bring it outside and we get this now if you see carefully observe del y del y 1 del z by del z 1 del x by del x 1 del z by del z 1 del x by del x 1 and del y by del y will be 1 so ultimately we are getting x minus x i cap y minus y j cap and z minus z k cap which gives us the result 0 i cap plus 0 j cap and plus 0 k cap that means we have proved that for this given force vector the del cross f becomes zero that means it must be a conservative force hence this is the way in which we can find out whether a given force is conservative or not actually the solution of this question is only this one page only but in the previous uh slides in my video i have explained you that what is the meaning of partial differentiation and also how to expand the determinant by this method so that uh, you don't have to watch any other video everything is present in this video only so once again you can go through the entire video for a revision so whenever you are asked that how to find whether if given force is conservative or not simply perform this cross product del cross f is equal to 0 and if the answer comes out to be 0 then yes it is a conservative force thanks for watching the video till the end and uh, uh, i hope that you liked it so please press the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you very much my channel is www.youtube.com/the physics guru